Daniel here, this is a bladder video. Now one of the things which appears to be possibly the case is that uh, there's no resurrection and um, there's no um, there's no resurrection. Life just goes on. And um, the dead, once, once people have died, they go off to where their eternity plan is actually. Uh, that's that's a heavenly plan for once for them once they've died, so it's it's not coming back to earth plan. So, in this sense, the uh, the ideas of his um, Eternia, my stuff is Eternia for mankind in a resurrection world to come. Now nah, that wouldn't be valid in that case. Now um, Jehovah is not Elohim, or well, they don't wear the same hat anyway. And Jehovah bullshits. Elohim is more straight-laced because he's the God of the Noahide Covenant. Genesis 9, it's God there. But Jehovah is pretty much the God of Judaism, and he bullshits Noahides. And he doesn't have any conscience about it. And, um... So, World to Come Doctrine is, uh... Probably not reality, so that Eternia... That's available for me personally, uh, regardless. But, uh, there's no, um... There's no basis for arguing that this A&M culture is going to be the thing for humanity. Because it'll just go on with the things on and off anyway. But one thing which I know is true, it is based on the laws of sin and decay, and eventually those products fall away. Uh, that, that will take a long time. Uh, the Republic from Plato is still around. That's over 2,000 years now. But eventually one day that will disappear. Because Plato is dead. And it was based on C. So uh, eventually that will fade. The complete works of William Shakespeare, eventually they will fade from humanity's history. Not any time soon. Probably not in the next 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years. But eventually it will fade. Everything will, for the most part, unless it's legal, structure, or preserved in a legal attorney at home setting.